Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn about a few careers that you could have where you use radicals and polynomials in everyday life. So uh, a couple of these careers that I thought of right at the top of my head were if you were a doctor or a nurse in the medical field. Um, doctors and nurses often have to figure out the rates of flow of things, of like bodily fluids, for example, the rate of blood flow, to know how much medication to give you. Um, in this case, the rate of flow is often given in a variable, let's say, x cubed per time. Here, you have x cubed, so in order to figure out x, you have to take the third radical the cubic root. Um, another career that you could have, this one's really fun, is if you were a mad scientist. Now, I'm sure that mad scientists use their brains to solve radicals and polynomials all day. Um, an example here also would be to figure out the volume of a fluid. The volume is given in terms of, let's say, cc's cubed. So here also you would have to take the third, the cubic root of the volume in order to figure out um, the cc's. So that's the career of a mad scientist. Another career where you would use radicals often would be if you were a rocket scientist. Now a rocket scientist has to figure out um, the volume of fuel that a rocket would need to fly a certain distance. In this case, once again, you're using fuel, uh, you have a certain volume, you know that the rocket is going to need a certain volume of fuel per time in order to fly. And of course, these, the volume of fuel is going to depend on the gravitational pull of the planet. So it would be variable as you take off from planet Earth and as you're flying. So this is going to be changing. So in this case, you're actually probably going to be taking um, radicals with a higher degree. So at least the quadratic root of, var of variables. So there you have it. Those are just a few careers where you would use radicals in everyday career uh, choices, experiments, and such. So thanks for watching, and come back for more. I'm Dr. K.